Hello guys, what's up? I am GojiFan1990 and welcome back for another new video for today, once again. Today I am doing for another What Do I Think About video. As you probably saw the title, and yes, as in today, on March 30th, 2024, I went to see the new Godzilla x Kong, the new vampire. Like I gave and explained to for I'm going to see the movie. And holy goji, you guys, that movie is awesome! But for those who have not yet seen it, you still got plenty of time to get a chance to see it. And I know for those who already saw it, they could probably will watch it again. Well, I'm going to have to watch it again on April 6th with, uh, to do a double date with my girlfriend and two of my co-workers. We're going to go see the film together. But I'm really excited to, to watch the movie again. But I missed one scene in the film. Ugh. Uh, it just happens all the time when you're in the movie theater, when you drink a pop or eating popcorn, it makes you have to go. But I can't mention that out loud here. Let's talk about for my thoughts about Godzilla x Con The New Empire. The movie was really good, but I wish I wanted to tell you about what had I seen, but I'm still the old school way, so I don't want to tell spoiling, but as in because I'm an old school of no spoiling. But let me tell you about the monster action. The monster action was really good. I really enjoy some more monster action. And once again, Tara Razia was back in action and he wrote the story for the movie and he also gave credit for the screenplay as well. Oh, you want to know who's Tara Razio, right? Alright, so <clears throat> Tara Razio was the American screenplay writer and he wrote the original TriStar Godzilla movie script idea with his buddy Ted, Ted Alien. For what have been, John Devine was meant to direct the film before we had Ron Emmerich's version. But at least Razio got his chances of working on Godzilla film this time. Like he did in the last movie, Godzilla vs. Khan, where he gave Godzilla to walk all four like a crocodile style. Like he did in the last movie. It's because that is based off the original TriStar Godzilla movie script idea. Well, not like that one when he doesn't eat trays. Well, at least... To see Godzilla eating a tree in the story might be sound weird. Khan himself is, he has a similar design from the last movie. It's good to see Khan again and the returning characters from the last film were all returned. Only three characters this time. But we have no Millie Bobby Brown's character, no Mark Rosso at all. I think that the actors were probably too busy with the other project at the same time. Or even they were just not in the story yet. But... One day in the future, we might see the father and daughter again one day, but we'll never know. Now for the returning characters from the last movie was Dr. Andrews, was played by Rebecca Hall. If you guys know, she is the same character from the last movie. If you recognize Rebecca Hall, she was on Iron Man 3, played as a bad lady. And later trying to redeem herself to become a hero, trying to save Pepper character. But it ended up didn't go to the plan. And we have Jaya returns as well, and she was all grown up in between. Like she's became teenager. I was like, wow, it's been a long time since we haven't seen her. And Bernie was once again played by the same actor. It was so good to see Bernie again, and I always love this character, and he is really funny. Always will be. Sometimes, some a lot of fans probably likes Bernie because he's a funny guy. Oh, sorry guys, uh, um, every time I talk like that, I always, uh, a little bit dried out sometimes. Anyway, I like Godzilla's new look into the film, like we saw it in the trailer, and it is really cool. Based off of Godzilla 2000 design, it was done by a concept art by Jared Kovetsky, who works Mechagodzilla in the last movie. I gave Jared Kovetsky's work 10 out of 10 for the best Godzilla design for a new design ever. Adam Wingard was the excellent choice to come back to direct the film, and this is the second time that Wingard is directing the Godzilla movie. And as well, second time for a King Kong movie, because that is his tithe. Kind of like we do the puzzle. And, um... We have a new character named Trapper, played by Dan Stevenson. Stevenson. If you recognize the actor who plays the prince in Beauty and the Beast live-action film, if you recognize him. And what I noticed, that was him. 
It was so good to have him to join the MonsterVerse for the first time. He does appear in another giant monster movie, which came out in 2016, was Colossal, was Adam Hathaway. But maybe I'll have to reveal this movie whenever I want to. So, I gave Godzilla x Con The New Empire 10 out of 10, and it has a good monster action. Best monster battles ever. But I kind of wish they would have made more monster action, you know, like... Less human scene, more a monster's action. Kind of like the old school ways of the older Toho's film. Like they do it in a way for some children have to get back in and sit down in the theaters. Like when some human scene gets slow and then there's a monster action. It comes really fast. Like, yay, the monster's here! If you were the kids like that. Anyway, I probably will see the movie again. Probably I will have to do it three times. Because three times is enough. But for now on, if for those who haven't seen the movie, please go watch the movie. It is a really good monster movie. And give it your own thoughts about it. If you don't want to do spoiling, that's up to you. As some said, it's your channel. You do whatever you want. As long as you got to tell everyone, if you do spoiling, you kind of like, hey, before if you watch this further, there may be some spoilers. So leave this video, like get at it, like uh, stay away from this video, go watch the movie and then come back here. That's it. So anyway, that's for my thoughts of Godzilla x Con The New Empire. But the question is, are we going to get another MonsterVerse series? Well, it all depends. If, if Godzilla x Con The New, New Empire may be successful at the box office, we'll never know if it might. But we'll pray. Hopefully it will be success. And hopefully we'll have another MonsterVerse to follow it up. Continue more story with both Big G and Godzilla. We'll never know. Well, for a con as well. Anyway, thanks for watching, you guys, and I will always stay with your fans. I can go to your fan 19 and always be here for more and do more videos in the future. So, yeah, so stay with your fans and King Kong fans. Sorry, my friends. Bye!